13 Incredible Things You Didn't Know About Friday the 13th. The film's infamous ki 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 ma 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 sound effect. <laughs> which is associated with Jason Voorhees, was created by composer Harry Manfredini by taking the first two syllables of kill and mom from a line of dialogue. camp used for filming was an active Boy Scout camp, and the filmmakers had to work around the scouts' schedules. The film's lead actress, Adrian King, was stalked by an obsessed fan after the film's release. The film was originally rated X due to its graphic violence, but after some cuts, it was released with a restricted R rating. The film's original title was A Long Night at Camp Blood. The film's original budget was $550,000 and it ended up making over $59 million at the box office. Friday the 13th was banned in Finland until the year 2000. Jason's trademark hockey mask did not appear until Friday the 13th Part 3. In 1992, Jason Voorhees was awarded the MTV Lifetime Achievement Award. He was the first of only three fictional characters to receive it, the others being Godzilla and Chewbacca. In June 2020, Jason appeared in a public service announcement, encouraging people to wear masks during the COVID pandemic. Ari Lehman, who played young Jason in the first movie, started a band called First Jason. First Jason plays horror punk music. In the 1996 film Scream, directed by Elm Street creator Wes Craven, actress Drew Barrymore's character is being stalked by a killer who calls her on her home phone. In order to survive, she must answer the man's trivia questions. One question is to name the killer in Friday the 13th. She incorrectly guesses Jason, who did not become the killer for the film series until part 2. This is the original review of Friday the 13th, published by The Hollywood Reporter. Gruesome violence, in which throats are slashed and heads are split open in realistic detail, is the sum content of Friday the 13th a sick and sickening low-budget feature that is being released by Paramount. It's blatant exploitation of the lowest order. Produced and directed by Shaughness Cunningham through Georgetown Prods, there is nothing to recommend about this ghastly effort, which simply details a series of grisly murders. The script by Victor Miller introduces a group of young people who are working to reopen a summer camp which had earlier been the scene of several unexplained murders and which is called Camp Blood by the locals. From there on out, the kids are knocked off one by one, with the killer in cliched motivation finally being revealed in the final sequence. Cunningham seems obsessed with shock value, which is the only thing he achieves during the 91-minute running time. The performances are credible, although no real acting is required and the technical production is slick, including Barry Abrams' photography and Bill Frieda's editing, which allows the full impact of the mutilations but which mercifully cuts away quickly. Check out my other videos about your favorite horror movies. There are some incredible stories you might just hear for the first time.